it's pretty weird how music has changed over the course of the decade, where country music is rap before dollars now. It's in Florida, Georgia lines, essentially doing the same materialistic bragging and the I got the hoe stuff. But instead of doing it with Shaniqua and bragging about your nice little sports car, it's about your pickup truck and uh, I don't know any I don't know any of country girls really. I'm sorry, I don't have a lot of friends over there. But you get the point. It's become that. Rap music is an extension of pop music. It really is. It's just pop music about the singing. I rarely hear the same kind of rap music I might hear even in the early 2000s where the beats were a homage to something in the past. They were a homage to the exploitation era. You know, le less nasty sides of that. Or the rhythm and blues stuff. Now all of that is gone. It's all EDM influenced or whatever Britney Spears is doing. Now a lot of rap music I notice is Trap House. And that started in 2012, and it hasn't stopped even now in 2014. But rock music has changed most of all. Because the only rock music that's acknowledged and is charting... I'm not saying drawing. Rock music still draws a lot. Charting is stuff like Imagine Dragons, Fun... All these wannabe Coldplay bands. And what is Coldplay other than a wannabe Radiohead? And why would you want to be Radiohead? I'm not saying they suck. I'm just saying they're overrated as shit. I mean, you got a lot of people nowadays doing those descending piano riffs. <laughs> Stupid as shit. Whack as hell. But why is that all of a sudden a big deal? He was descending piano keys. And I'll hear a mofo like Jay-Z put that over the soundtrack to an NBA 2K13. And LeBron James put that over his customized soundtrack for the NBA 2K14. Now I see a lot of rap artists like Kendrick Lamar touring with Imagine Dragons. And I'm noticing that the level of pro the production value for these new rock indie, fake-ass indie bands, it's the same shit. It's rap producers doing it. They're out there working with rap producers for their albums. Why would you get rap producers? They know nothing of rock, very little of it, how to make a rock album work. And really, it's not going to come off sounding good. And it doesn't come off sounding good. What makes rock rock, most of all, is a four four melody that you can really move to. Guitar heavy. You need that guitar. You can't have a simple wall of sound. Once you had that annoying wall of sound shit, it kept sounding less and less like rock. For example, Nickelback. When Nickelback is at its most unlistenable, it's when it's this heavy wall of sound shit where you just hear nothing but vague power chords. That isn't rocking. I have to feel the guitar. I have to know what is happening in the riff. With me, I'm listening to this stuff and I'm thinking, okay, I'm picking up the 
tritones. I'm picking up the when it gets bluesy, and there's some of the pentatonics, the minor thirds, the perfect fourths and fifths, things of this nature. Or even when it just starts to get chromatic, and I start hearing a lot of descending or ascending minor seconds. I have to be able to pick up all that shit. But when I'm hearing just the beat of the song, like, and tonight it was like, there was like this, uh, they do this a lot now where there's a big bass drum and it's sort of sounds protesty and it has a big sound which is perfect for rap, but it doesn't have the aggression needed for rock. And this is why I didn't feel bad about liking new, new metal, because it still sounds like rock. It still has the guitar influence. Even if it's a shitty, heavy power chord, no substance level of influence, it still has that much. I still hear the guitar, I still know what the guitar is doing. If Let's say the guitarist is sliding up and down, doing some glissando. It wouldn't be glissando since instruments are fretted. Or legato. Or something of that nature. I would be able to hear all of that shit. But now with these new guys, it just sounds like Coldplay. Like, the synth is more powerful. The drum beat that's percussive, that's drowning everything out, that's more powerful. The inspirational singing is more powerful, but there's... You even have a deep bass kind of thing, but it's not the bass we're talking about, the bass we usually like. Like, you want to hear good bass? Listen to Primus, listen to Tool, listen to stuff like that. Hear it. When you hear deep bass stuff, I'm talking about the bass that'll piss me off if I hear my neighbor upstairs have that bass, that kind of bass. The whack-ass Skrillex bass. We don't need that. That is killing rock music. Because people are going to hear that and think, nah, I'm not into this rock stuff. I can't fucks with this. Meanwhile, rock is as popular ever when it's not trying to be fake indie. And it still draws. So it is very great in Europe. But it isn't worth shit now. Because these guys are getting rap producers. And rap producers don't get rock. They don't get what makes rock rock. Some of them do, but I guarantee you that if they're going to work with rock artists, they're going to do a much better job. Or they're going to avoid it completely since they know that someone else will articulate that much better. Anyway, this is Mr. Wonka7. Uh, I hope you guys understood what I was rambling about. I know I was getting kind of vague and shit, and I hate doing that because it makes it me explaining bullshit a lot more difficult. But, SMD, I'm not even going to go say the full suck my dick.